Hello and welcome everyone. In today's video we'll see how to change colors using expressions. And if you're new here in the channel, check out the other videos because we have different topics and even colors we have already talked about but in different situations. Let's start here with a bar chart and in this example I will use a data set that has the population of the Brazilian cities, okay? But to start here we will use the state okay and sum the population well first as you can see we have here uh, the distribution <clears throat> and here in the appearance tab we have the color options right if you enable the changes you can see here that we have the single color so if I change to orange or any other color this will reflect in the chart but the color scheme from this uh, option it comes from the theme okay so if you come here on the top and change the settings you will see that you have the option to change the theme okay so I'm using the sense classic you if I click here for example in sense breeze this color scheme will also change as you can see right here okay so let me just go back alright so this is the first option and just to point out, we also have some other customizations here in the styling under the presentation mode, presentation tab, sorry. And you can put an outline here, just giving some other tips, okay? But let's focus on the topic. <clears throat> Going back to the colors. We can color this by di dimension, okay? So as you can see, I have now the dimension state and we can change the color scheme using a 12 colors or 100 color scheme okay if I mark this persistent color what happens is like the difference is that if I select for example these two states the colors will change okay so if I mark if I select this box persistent colors they will be the same for basically ever every time I select these states they will represent the same color okay all right so I can also change this according to some other uh, dimension that I want in this case this is the highest level that I have but let's say that I want to make this chart by city so I, I will come here and put city and now all the cities in dark blue are from Sao Paulo okay because I have I'm using the dimension state to color the cities okay so if I select for example this state all the cities will have the same color because I'm selecting the one specific state okay all right going back so we can also color it by measure so basically we have here the sum of population we could be using an, a different measure <clears throat> like the count of cities for example so if I count the number of cities in each state as you can see Sao Paulo is not the one with the highest number of cities it's Minas Gerais okay and so on <clears throat> And we can also use the expressions. Let's start with a basic expression here using a if. Okay, so I can come here and type my expression. So let's say that if the state is equals to Minas Gerais, which is the name of the state, color it in red. Otherwise, color it in green. apply and there we go we have now the state in red and the others will be in green okay we can also uh, if you don't know the color schemes in click you can use this type of code of expression I think we could say that but also but we can also use like the RGB so if I type here um, you can go to Google and type RGB 000 like this and you will have a color wheel 
to pick the color that you want okay so let's say that I want to pick this color I copy this code come back and inside this RGB I put this this code and hit apply there we go we have the same color that we just selected from here okay and we can also let's change the the condition here so if the sum of the population now let's use a measure as a threshold okay if the sum of the population is greater than let's say 15 million people paint the states in this color otherwise painting in green there we go as you can see we have here the threshold 15,000 around here and the, those that are greater they will have that color selected if I change the dimension to city <clears throat> same thing will apply same condition but we don't have any city with a population greater than 15, uh, 15 million people but if I just change this to 5 million people there we go okay another very nice formula is the color mix it's an expression that uh, you can you can have like a gradient color scheme in your chart okay and to use that I will just explain in the table let me just go back and show the states again there we go like this this will be better <clears throat> I will show this in a table because it will be easier to understand what's behind the table so every time you use a color expression like color mix it's better to not only that like many other situations it's better to understand how the data is uh, captured or is placed inside the chart okay so as you can see we have here the population in a column and let's use the color mix expression and you can type in Google here color mix one click there's also color mix two basically uh, and my, my click is my browser is in Portuguese so this will be in Portuguese but you can type in there and you find it basically we have um, uh, a scale from 0 to 1 in color mix 1 so the closer to 0 you can set a color to that and closer to 1 another color to that but in order to distribute this, uh, these values between 0 and 1 we will divide each one of them by the total okay so we will use population and divide this by the sum of the total population so as you can see this will represent 22 percent of the total and we will not normalize that in this video because we could make this 22 percent become one okay like normalizing everything the the entire data set but let's stick with that for now to make it simple so I will copy this expression and here let's go back to the expression let's delete that and use the color mix one so basically we have the value that will be between 0 and 1 which is our expression in this case these are the values the first color that we need to set here is the color zero so let's say that we want to color uh, the, the closer to zero the wider it will be okay and the closer to one it will be let's say black okay all right closing parenthesis let's hit apply okay it's not very clear because 22 is not that close to one okay that's why we could normalize that if we select something let's say selecting some states that do not have such a huge difference so let's pick these ones here <clears throat> okay so now let's just go back here and change the the white to any other color 
let's pick for example it could be let's just leave the white and the red will be an RGB color okay it's not that different right now but if we look at the entire data set we can definitely see the differences okay and the color mix 2 will do the same thing but you can set a value like you will change your the one for two and the values will be analyzed between minus one zero and one okay so you, you will have three uh, thresholds basically and you can also always customize your expression so let's say that we want to color this specific state by year for example in blue so we can come here use an if so if my state is equals to by year let's use blue otherwise let's <clears throat> use this expression and after that let's close the parentheses <clears throat> and there we go okay same thing with other expressions um, if the sum of the population is greater than 15,000 million, sorry, painted blue, otherwise just use the color mix expression. Okay, so you can customize the way you want, always trying to find the best expression to analyze everything. Okay, so basically it will analyze the data set using the table view. I was trying to explain you here how it is evaluated okay <clears throat> well uh, that's it for this video i hope it helps you somehow and if you're not subscribed if you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel do so and let me know if you like the video and the kind of content okay see you soon bye bye